Hello all, welcome to part 10 of Human, the Wanderer. We're in depths 5, we're about to finish off our depths and go in search of a third room. You can see just here, oh my god. <laughs> uh, every time I physically point with my finger at the screen, I feel like the biggest moron. <laughs> um, Human is thrusting in the direction of, well I haven't even said what it was, um, here. The, the stone walls behind us that are purple indicate it's the Zot entrance vault. So we want to do that last. Oh man, okay. So we're going to do around the outside first. Around the outside, around the outside. Okay, got to remember that we can't dig kill holes. It's my natural inclination to start heading back towards walls so that I can dig if need be. But we gave that up so that we may have great powers. Spark wasps. We have our elect now. Sweet. We've got, um, we've got this cursed cloak that's got a bit of ant scene viz and our elect on it. So, these guys aren't as bad. Let's get a servitor to help us though. Let's try again. Yeah. Alright, that's much better. And apparently you can't animate the skeletons of... Spark wasps. Are you telling me wasps don't have... Skeletons? That can't be true. We are dying to these Yaktors. I like how this, this hated shaman is just running us down, but not fast enough. Let's regen before we go down, and we can just stair dance this stuff up one at a time. What if we cast some fireballs? What if? Well, doesn't do anything to a red draconian. Oh, what a boss. He's actually... Can I swing at the air? No, okay. <laughs> because special weapon only attacks when you do. So I was thinking, maybe... Maybe spectral weapon, if it's flying next to an enemy like that, will attack if you just attack the air. Turns out that's not the case. I can't say I'm surprised, but... Uh, that would have been funny. Okay, these guys have ladder tanks. That's a ladder tank of speed. Ladder tanks of speed are really, really strong, but um, we really need the ladder tank we have for resistances. And that is. Oh no, that's War Axe. Did they both have ladder tanks of speed? No, that guy had protection. Okay. If it weren't for this really insane artifact ladder tank, I'd be really happy with the ladder tank speed though. It's got even more. Okay, we want to use fireball as much as possible. Fireball is really good against squishy but high evasion targets because I can't dodge it. And we're out of magic. Are we still training spellcasting? Yep. Okay. I think that shows me that that's a good decision. Book of Fire. This has Ignition. Wait, what's that fire magic? It's way too low for that. Yeah, it's only at 9. <laughs> that's not happening. Yeah, it's a level 8 fire spell. We don't need Ignition. We basically have Apocalypse, which is similar, kind of. Looks like we're waking up the vault. Wow. That was a... I did an over-destruction. I think the servitor did an over-destruction and an iron shot. And that... Shadow Dragon just got completely blown up. And they're usually quite tanky, scary enemies. Okay, that's too much stuff. Let's back up. 
Hold up. Okay, yep. Yeah. Should get my spectral to help. That's Jory. I don't know if Servitor can be silenced. Let's XV him. Yes, okay. So he does get silenced. Um, the reason that Jory is really scary is because he has a Crystal Spear that can do almost 120 damage. I was thinking I might read a scroll of silence, but then our, serv our Servitor wouldn't be able to cast spells. I think as long as we cast some Mana Vipers and get them on top of him, he won't really be able to cast spells, yeah, because he'll just get anti-magic bitten. I think this is a good reason as well for probably not needing, there's a transparent short bow, interesting, for probably not needing the silence spell, because the things that we use silence on um, are similarly affected by Mana Vipers and it means that Spellforge can't ever help us. Deflect Missiles on the other hand, let's learn that just for science. You can maybe perform some degenerate gameplay here. Deflect Missiles, yep. Goes to R. Okay, let's take off our armor. Don't tell the devs I'm doing this by the way, it takes it to 91. Stuff of Wizardry, 61. And we have a Ring of Wizardry somewhere, but um, we ditched it. But even at 61%, we can have, have a go. Okay, let's just wait off our contamination. Ooh, okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the the three charms zero air magic um, deflect missiles. Um, that's this is why they removed repel missiles, by the way. But yeah, you can still do it with deflect missiles. It's just more difficult. All right, don't yeah, don't tell the devs that I'm doing that because next thing you know, um, you find that deflect missiles is already gone for degenerate gameplay reasons. Oh yeah, our exclusions. Shift X control E to remove them. It's making it very difficult to fight in here. There was a hatch. Shout out of course to Peck, who made me realize that it's optimal to check all your hatches up. I've never seen anyone else do it. <laughs> it's just, as far as I know, it's just me and Peck. But yeah, could be on the optimal orb run path. You won't know unless you test it out. Okay, oh, there's nothing actually in there. Okay, I saw that alarm trap in the hallway and thought we were blocked, but no. We have not seen, fingers crossed, because there's still one door to open, but we have not seen a single caustic track in here. We have 41 fruit. There's a lot of fruit. No caustic tracks. How fantastic. <laughs> okay. It's time to get a third rune. What are we going to do? you got your standard three here. Vaults, Abyss, or Slime. We could probably do all of these. Um, in Abyss, we are not reliant on our mana for spells. We have re the regen spell, along with a regen amulet. So we're not worried about having to rest. And we have 22 scrolls of teleportation. So we'd have no issue there. In Slime, we have the ability to get an Arc Corrosion Ring, which I keep forgetting about, but I, we should buy that anyway. Well, we went past all the points that might have Caustic Shrags, so maybe we won't bother. 
unless we pick slime. But we, okay, we have access to, to our corrosion. We have a resistance to mutation. So we're not as afraid of purple shining eyes as we would be. And we have um, fireball. So we have good AoE conjurations to blow up the royal jelly and all of his slime minions. For vaults, um, we have this ability here called Apocalypse that blows up everything on your screen. <laughs> so uh, if you make a lot of noise and you draw the whole level to the middle of the floor, you can then just blow it all up. So that's good and it's fun. Um, and that would work as well. For the fun aspect, I think I want to try Vaults. Just because blowing everything up with Apocalypse is the most fun. I'd say probably it's the least safe of these two. Abyss would probably be the best, considering we have really good regen and so many teleports. Slime would probably follow that. Um, I think in most cases actually now, Vaults is probably the most dangerous th third room. Not counting meme things like third room tomb and stuff. I mean of the standard ones. On average, Vaults is usually the most dangerous. But yeah, I want to blow everything up with Apocalypse. Let's do it. Which means, um, we want to make a bit of a tech change. Scarf. I want the Scarf of Resistance. Because without giving anything away, there might be some fire. Uh, there is no point having a brand weapon scroll. We don't have anything to brand. Turn those off in auto pickup as well. All right, which means I want the RLEC ring. Oh, it's a helmet. Isn't there a ring? Yes, here. Ah, oh, that's where I was going, okay. Those spark wasps. I'm glad I didn't take the the RLEC thing off just yet. And we can't uh, we can't get there because the game will not auto explore us or auto travel us through the the fire. What? Take me there. Okay, good. We want to have some way to get our elect when we um, don't have this cloak on. Alright, so let's go to Volts 4. Alright, again, can't get out. <laughs> Is it worth using the helmet just while we do Volts? So what's our, our helmet is just MR. But this would allow us to have our elect. Oh wait, no, the helmet isn't our elect. Okay, never mind. Just spouting nonsense. <laughs> Sorry. Vaults four. Let's go. All these random undead enemies spawning on our path. Just let's go to vaults. There we go. Alright, let's do our tech change. We want the scarf of resistance. Um try again. Actually Oh we lost our deflective missiles. Okay. Well before we go down we better do our optimal gameplay. Um Let's put that cloak back on because it has plus three in, so it will help us. And then 61%. Nope. Yep. <laughs> it just <laughs> makes me laugh every time I do that. Cool. Obviously you can't do that in the middle of combat, but yeah, when you're out of combat, 
May as well strip all your armor off to get deflect deflect missiles. Okay, so we've got we've got our our resistance on. Is it worth just having this Aralek ring on at all times? We lose four protection to do it. Mm. No, it's not worth it. Okay, so we've got two RF. So here we go, we're doing vaults. So we could, we've only got four haste, although we can buy two more. So we've got six haste, but I don't think we need it. Um, also all these books, we could probably get rid of a lot of these. Is there anything else we want to learn? Not really. We decided we don't need silence because we can use mana vipers. Um, I'm still going to bother with Song of Slaying, but it's probably worth having if I went lazy. Alright, so we could buff up 5 agility. I think we probably don't need to. Let's just cast our regen spell and we'll go down. Alright, so vaults. Uh, obviously, you're always on the lookout for vault wardens who can lock you in, and then you just get trapped in here. We happen to have Apocalypse, though, which blows up pretty much everything. So if we get locked in by a Vault Warden, if we Apocalypse, should kill them. Most of the time it will. Um, and if not, then we can cast some Conjurations at them from range. Alright. Apocalypse is going to drain us really heavily, though. So we're not just going to start spamming it now. And you also have to wait. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do something that a lot of people will tell you not to do. And that is to read a scroll of immolation. So the reason you get told not to do this is that, first of all, these vault guards are not very dangerous. As in, you're using it to blow up these guys when you probably don't need to. True, that's correct. You'll also be told that that makes a lot of noise, which then pulls everything to the center. And again, correct. Those are good things. <laughs> Especially when you're now surrounded by a really large lake of fire. So all those things being drawn to the center have to walk through the fire to get to you. Also, when you've got a destroy everything on the screen button, you want to draw as many things to your screen as you can. So, let's start the fireworks. Here we go. Saint Roker appeared. Uh, we're like dying to these guys. I think we actually do need to go up. But I want to see the explosions. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's always so fun. <laughs> Smell that. Immolation. Nothing in the world smells like that. I love the smell of immolation in the morning. It smells like victory. <laughs> Alright, so we could we could continue to blow these guys up. At this point we're at half HP. So our plans to um stay here and fight everything out with Apocalypse and not looking too great. So we're going to go up. One of the things that's happening of course is that St. Roker can smite us. So uh, I'm not sure if that's what was actually getting us there or maybe just the fact that uh, we're not super tanky in melee. So all the guards hitting us at once are bad. But yeah, we lost a lot of HP there. Maybe this isn't the best idea. Maybe we should just go to this. But again, now this is the most fun. Alright, we can always try again. Let's regen. And at this point, I think we just stare dance. Uh, let's blink out of these guys, so we're not fighting all of them. Get our server to help us. Server to owns. Such a good such a good spell. It's sort of an awkward spell because it's summoning and conjurations. Oh man, it hurts. Here's a warden. 
He hasn't locked the stairs though, so we can bring this stuff up. Again, we blink. Get some friends. I think that Adam was mited, so I did not show him the proper respect that a mited Adam deserves. Again, if the warden's not going to lock us in, we'll just we just keep going up and down. Yeah. Uh, regen. Alright, this time we're locked and that really hurt. Uh, time to apocalypse. Okay, so apparently the, the warden is like the only one who barely got hurt at all. Uh, let's, which is not good. And I accidentally just moved off the stairs. Uh, let's cast an orb of destruction at him. And probably an iron shot. We really need him to die. Uh, we're drained. Right, so our iron shot's kind of scary. 28% uh, chance to fail it. So I think we go... Um, I guess we just fireball him. Alright, there we go. He's blown up. So it kind of did work. That's how the plan should go. Although... The one enemy we really wanted to kill with Apocalypse was like the least affected. So I don't know about this. <laughs> hmm. Well, we've come this far. Let's keep going. Do I have Aralek on? No, I don't. I should now because we've just seen a Titan. Making sure to cast regen every time. Yeah. The the lightning bolts on titans are really strong. Also this shapeshifter is just 1v1ing us. Alright, same plan. We've, we've already worked off our drain from the apocalypse. Which is good, and as long as no more wardens show up, we'll just keep stair dancing. And if they do, we'll apocalypse them again. Ow. These stair pulls are questionable though. <laughs> We're taking a lot of damage while doing it. Oh well. I think we're okay. Let's throw out a fireball at these guys. There's no one adjacent to us, so we can't really pull anyone up yet. Everyone just wants to, s to hang back. Right, there we go. I feel like at that point, we may as well just finish off the Yaktor captain. Because he's someone who's going to stand at range and sh continually shoot us every time we try to dance things up. Okay, let's make a servitor. Because it seems like we've done most of the welcoming commodity. Welcoming commodity. The welcoming committee at this point. Okay. Definitely don't want to drop below 8 mana though. Because then we can no longer apocalypse if we need to. And that gold dragon just pushed us off the stairs. Okay. Not that time. I'm glad we're not after gold dragon scales because we haven't seen one yet from about four dragons. Would have been pretty mad about that. Okay, well he's nearly dead. I was going to say, um, as a magic user again, the summoned mana vipers are very good against titans. And there's an ancient lich there. We've got three MR, so there's probably some... Where'd he go? He just walked off. Okay. Let's get this Moth of Wrath. Okay, we'll bring him up. I think it's a shapeshifter, but we still don't... Yeah, it is. We don't want him to be anywhere near the gold dragons and quicksilver dragons and stuff, if he's going to berserk them. The Ancient Lich actually just left. <laughs> I wanted to see what his hex chances were on us, with three points of MR. There he is, XV. 2% chance to confuse. It's not very high. Let's throw a 
orb of destruction at him. Uh, that's the warden. Um, do I just want to see? It might be best just to apocalypse him now, even though we're not locked in yet. There's still an ancient lich here, so it means we can take this stuff up, but the next time we come down, we're going to be locked in with the ancient lich. Whereas I've already shot an orb at him, so it's going to do a fair amount of damage. If I now pock, I probably get. That will probably kill him. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Apocalypse. That time the water went down. Yeah, see that that was more how it was supposed to happen. You kill and or paralyze everything else and then the warden goes down. I think the, the first one was just uncommonly unlucky. Should get a servitor with us. And then we can just let the servitor do stuff while we sit here and have a break. Okay, and I shouldn't get lazy. I was just starting to auto explore, but vaults, even when you've done the main chamber or the welcoming party like this, it's still dangerous. Don't shoot me. I think he shot me because he slowed. So I think Rue again <laughs> took out his anger on the Spellforge for shooting us. I think that's such a funny interaction. <laughs> that your summons get punished for hurting you. Okay, so I don't want to be lazy. So the way that once you've cleared your welcoming party in Vaults 5, the way that you want to do it is to explore around the outsides first. Uh, and I like to do the whole floor. So before I, before I go into one of these chambers, I'll explore around the whole outside bit. Look at that corrosion symbol, isn't that so lovely? I think the person who drew that was probably some sort of really cool guy. So we're going to do the outside of the floor first. It means that you're, you're getting the inhabitants of one quadrant at a time. And hopefully this is pretty empty. So that's one of the other bonuses of immolating and calling everything to the middle. It means that once you're out of the middle, the floor is much sparser. So even if you wanted to um, to teleport away from the middle and try to find somewhere safe on the floor uh, you actually make it safer by immolating and making a whole bunch of noise because then yeah everything's in the middle so you're less likely to find them all as you teleport unless your teleport keeps you in the middle I guess that's possible but then you just teleport more Fire Giant just shot himself. That's always funny. Have an artifact ring? No. Random telly. Great. And an invisibility we can't use. Alright. Now that we've done the outside, I want to pick one of the corners and go in. So I don't even want to go... Oh, there's a guy right next to us. I wasn't even seeing him. I don't even want to go in from this corner because any noise I make here fighting could draw things from here. Whereas if I'm right in the corner of the map, like this, any noise is only going to affect other enemies in this same quadrant. Books. Book of the Tempest. Tornado and Shadow. Book of Death. Nope. Alright, there's a Slay minus 4 ring. There's a ring that has MR on it, but Strength minus 5, which is a big deal. 
plus two slaying ring. Again, we're not lacking in DPS, so I'd rather just have plus four protection. And then that's about it in here. No rune. Not very interested in a an artifact leather armor. It's too light. Alright, and so we're just gonna work our way around like that. Plus three ring of evasion. Yeah. I'd rather have plus four AC, I think. Same goes for plus two evasion. Okay. Yeah, we can take the Aralek off now. And now that we're not immolating ourselves, I think we switch back to this cloak. So we can drop resistance, we can drop the Aralek ring. Cool. Ooh, he has a plus 12 glaive of the prune. I like this, this item. There's nothing special about it, other than it's a plus 12 glaive of chopping. But I like how it, how it implies that um, if you use it for a long time, you'll turn into a, a prune. <laughs> it's one of the few, um, the few remaining flavor things left in Crawl. Rune? Sweet. There's our third rune. Book of Callings has Spire in it. We don't need it. Even though it's basically a free lightning spire. Oh, I should learn it though. How are we for spell levels? Eight. I feel like it is worth having just for the potential um, blocking uses, but we don't really need Spire to kill stuff at this point. We're more than strong enough with our Conjurations and our Spellforge Servitor. And then our Mana Vipers, because there's Shadow Creatures as well. Which, again, would also be really strong in terms of summonings, but again, we just don't need it. Oh, we've got spellcasting to 15.6, that's higher than I intended. Well, we can't stop there, we have to go to 16 now. Manual shields, nope. Can't use a shield with the slider tank. Okay, this is too many guys. Let's get some friends and also refresh our regen. Alright, last quarter. Okay, at this point we've done most of the floor, I'm not worried, I'm just going to auto explore around. Okay, thought that was an artifact, nope. We have strength gloves. These are gloves of archery. No. We actually kind of need, we don't need the strength, but they do really help. Fenfolio. No. I've still never seen LRD, right? Rapid. Nope. I really want LRD. It's our only way to try to dig. Yeah, there's, there's no way we can shatter stuff. Okay, well that's it, I guess. We've got a ring to test. Flight. Literally cannot use it. Alright, three runes. Time to head into Zot. We've been everywhere else, I think. There's no point doing Crypt. We've never been in Temple. <laughs> that's worth noting, I guess. Uh, time to go to Zot, yeah, okay. So, without our Larger Tang, we have no RF. Actually, maybe we should buy some RF. 
Maybe, I think we're okay with protection from magic. Three points is not great, but it's okay. Mm. What else? The magic mapping. We've only got four, so we may as well go buy that so we can magic map every floor of Zot. Well, we don't need six because there are only five Zot floors, so we can save some gold there, I guess. Potions of Heal Winds, who knows? Um, I think Might and Cancellation we're pretty okay with. Eight Potions of Might sounds like a lot. <laughs> Um, so let's get resistance, sounds good. We can use that against Orbs of Fire we can, to get two points of RF, I guess. Probably not necessary, but worth having. Potions of Magic, we've got eight of those as well, also a lot. And let's get the Haste and the Heal Winds. Wow, that actual captain was a boss. He, okay, he had an Arbos of Velocity. I wonder if that's really enchanted. Let's see. Only plus one, but man, that guy really hurt. I was just casually tabbing at him, and we're losing most of our health. Let's grab Haste. Um, the Hill Winds is elsewhere. There. The haste is 400 gold. I know some of you probably want me to... Oh no, we can afford both anyway. There are some of you who are going to want me to t find out what this artifact scale mail is. I tend not to like scale mail much, but... It's in snake. But yeah, we probably should check. Maybe it's a plus 15 scale mail, who knows. I think it's unlikely that it's going to be something that I'm going to want, but we may as well see for you scale mail enthusiasts out there. It's on snake three. All right, that's why I couldn't get there. Okay, yeah. not that one, that one. Plus zero scale mail of plus invis and arc corrosion. There you go. Are you happy? Well, so Roxanne's here somewhere, isn't she? At this point, I feel like we could fight her and see if um, Lee's rapid deconstruction is here. Or her spell book. Where is she? Go to our exclusions. Okay, I think I'm thinking of the last... No, she's on elf two. Okay, let's go do that then. Maybe her book will have LRD in it. She is over there. We can just shoot her now with Orbit Destruction from range. And that should kill her, but I knew they were all going to slam into the wall. Okay, well she blinked us right on top of her, that's okay. Alright, we're starving. <laughs> like, why can't I cast Spectral? It is a Book of the Earth. The Book of the Earth does not have LRD in it. Well, there you go. It's, um, saddening. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Zot. got our magic mappings. We're just going to map every floor. We're going to fully clear it. Um, I just feel safer about fully clearing. There's no... Um, on this character, I feel like there's no great reason not to. It's going to give us more experience for our fighting armor and dodging. 
which will make us stronger. Um, we should be regening as well. Now let's map the floor. I don't know. If there are any floors that have nasty looking vaults on them and that we could dive just to skip them, that's possible too. But in general, I do like to clear. Let's get some friends. How's our spellcasting going? We need to remember to turn it off this time. Ooh. This looks like a really good pack to um, invis against, but we can't do that. Actually, we have two potions. I'm worried mostly about the Moth of Wrath berserking all these guys. And because there's also a shifter here. So the shifter can blink us, which means he could blink us into the open here. And then the Moth of Wrath zerks some more. We have eight scrolls of fear. I think I just want to do that. It's very likely, well I'm surprised we got all the Draconians, but it's very likely to get the Moth of Wrath because it has low MR. So that way we don't have to worry about the whole fear situation there. Let's have our, um, our Spellforge actually help us. Man, that hurt. Refresh the regen. Ow. Again, this looks worse than it is. We're probably not going to die to uh, a Draconian and a Tentacle Monstrosity, just as they are. Here we go, we get the Monster Wrath on their own. Much less scary. Also, is there a Bolt of Fire in this game? There is. When we had that situation there, and all the dudes were in a row, I would really have liked to have had Bolt of Fire there, so I think we go grab it. Uh, we have four spell levels left and we need six. I'm going to say we don't need... I want to say summon Lightning Spire. <laughs> But we probably also don't need some butterflies. And if you consider that when our spell casting gets to 16, which it's at 15.9 now, we'll get an extra spell level. So if we just get rid of some butterflies, then we'll have enough very soon. It is that one. Okay, and let's pick up the Book of Fire. Okay, so we'll soon learn Bolt of Fire. I don't want to fight these guys in Vision of... Well, I was going to say the Zot Trap, but there's actually another one just here. But I particularly don't want the Zot Trap between, to be between me and the enemies because they will have no compunction in walking into it. And I wish I had the Bolt of Fire. I regret my decision. This would be perfect to Bolt of Fire down the line here. Nah, it's okay. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's less okay than I'm comfortable with, but... Okay. There's basically no cloak that I want over this artifact one, so I don't know why I'm even checking. Completionist part of me wants to know. Another big Draconian pack. Hey, we got spellcasting to 16, so we have, yeah, we've got six spell levels. Let's turn it off. Okay, so we want to get, once we're out of combat here, we want to learn Bolt of Fire. Good. And it's on G, can go to C. Alright, good. Okay. Get out of view of the Moth of Wrath. So, uh, this is not good. This might be a good Bolt of Fire time. Okay. 
I was starving. Let's eat. Probably should have not just eaten a fruit. Okay. Moth the Wrath's down. Only one is Zerk. Um, I think we're okay though. If we start dying to Draconians like this, we can always quaff a potion of Invis. And then, when they can't see you, they're much less dangerous. These guys can't see Invis either. It's funny, but see Invis is actually really strong in Zot. Works on all the Draconians, works on the Death Cobs. Uh, works on a lot of the dragons that you see. Not these ones, but uh, these ones I think it works on. Yep, storm dragons can't see invis. The shadow, quicksilver, and gold can, but the rest can't. I think, unless I'm forgetting some. Okay, that's our Zot one. Let's eat. Let's just eat some fruit. We have way too much. We'll magic map our floor. Speaking of vaults that we want to skip, um, here's one that we can't. All right, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Join me in the next one. We'll, I don't know, deal with this thing. We'll keep going through Zot. Try to get the orb and get out of here. Start a new streak. See you then.